Yeah, I think our match against Nigeria wasn't reflective of our defensive capacity. Um, we kept a clean sheet against Ireland as well, so we had uh, shown our strength there defensively and we defended quite well against set pieces there. And I think against Nigeria, we just failed to clear our lines and, and got caught out. And I think we learnt from our experiences um, and have kept two more clean sheets against two wonderful teams. So I think moving forward to the game against France, that's all we're focusing on as a defensive unit is maintaining another clean sheet. I don't, uh, yeah, in terms of uh, the way we play, obviously that's quite technical and tactical and I, I feel like that doesn't necessarily come from support but when you're, you know, in, in the dying moments of a game and, and require a bit of crowd support, they are immense and I think we felt that against Canada. The crowd in Melbourne showed up in a way that I haven't felt before and I think that that drove us to, to get a 4-0 win. So I think um, technically and tactically obviously not but in terms of, you know, building our momentum throughout a game and maybe mentally throwing the other team off knowing that we have that backing, for sure it does help us, yes. We have believed since we started this World Cup that we can win this World Cup and I think we've always had that belief. Uh, we've shown that belief. We've you know, express that in the way we play. We've kept three clean sheets. We've had, you know, three extremely good performances. Um, we're rolling in with, you know, some some confidence and we're playing our style of play. So I think if we continue to um, deal with the pressure in the way that we know that we can uh, and continue to provide performances that are um, that are winning performances, then, of course, we can win this World Cup. Yeah, this... Uh, the French have been exceptional this tournament and I think they've grown into the tournament. So for us, uh, it's about stopping that momentum for them. Um, they have some wonderful, uh, as a defender, they've got some absolute firepower up front. So we're just looking to obviously nullify their strengths up front um, and just play our style of game. And um, yeah, that's all I've got. The way that we visualise it is that we don't feel that pressure as a, I suppose, a negative cloud. I think for us, it's we feel extremely privileged to be in that in that situation where we are a host nation, where we are, you know, fighting for a World Cup final and a World Cup win. Um, and I think that that pressure presents itself as, I suppose. A positive light. We feel supported by the Australian public. We feel backed by the Australian public. We you know, we feel supported in what we're doing. So, yes, there is a pressure, but I think when we're playing, we're not thinking about that pressure. We're thinking about we are representing our amazing country and we're playing a football and a style of football that we're proud of. Yeah, um, look, the French, the French team is a very good team. Um, you know, they've got they've got a great coach now. Um, you know, they've got high quality players. But for us, the most important thing is is going into this game and, and focus on ourselves and, and controlling what we can and and sticking to our game plan. Yeah, I think obviously every single one of us, you know, has thought about a lot of things um, within this World Cup and the thought of a semi-final on the horizon is is huge. But the, the one thing that we've really um, stayed true to ourselves was just focusing on the next game ahead. And I think the team's been absolutely tremendous within that. The mentality and the, the level of professionalism that we've shown around the camp has been second to none and um, I think we, we keep that same mindset going into every every game that we, we face. Yeah, it's um, it's like chalk and cheese, obviously. My, I think my first ever Matildas game, there was maybe, you know, a couple of thousand people in the stand and now we're talking about, you know, 75,000 to 80,000 people coming to watch us on home soil um, in the most prestigious tournament Um that there is for, for football and it's amazing to see the young girls and even the young boys coming out and enjoying it and and everyone getting behind the team it's yeah it's it's honestly it's unreal and it definitely doesn't go unnoticed by the girls and we just hope that it continues from here on out and um, like I said before we're just continuing to inspire the next generation. Is there a sense of frustration there's been so much focus on one player I mean we've done so much media on Sam Kerr but the rest of the girls deserve probably more attention than they've got. Is there any frustration in that? I'd have to ask you guys. <laughs> You're the ones asking the questions. <laughs> Look, no, Sammy's, it speaks for herself, honestly. We, you know, she's our leader. Um, she's the best striker in the world, you know. She is an amazing athlete, but also she's equally an amazing person. And for us to have her back now um, is huge. It's a massive boost and... Um, I think I mentioned it before, you know, 
even her, her work off the field in terms of leading the team, um, you know, the things that you guys obviously don't see behind the scenes, it's been immense for us and um, the girls are just so excited to have her back and to have, you know, every single player stepping up and doing their role when called upon. Mm-hmm.